Good morning, my brothers and sisters. This is Coach Rowe. This is the Coach Rowe Show. I got my squad with me. Iggy. Yes, sir. Rowe Dog. What's up, my brother? Ro From the Iggy Biggity. From the Iggy Biggity. By way of Mountain View, California. Yeah, the Mountain View. His mama called him Lewis. The, the icon. The side or the west side. Icon, man. He has no attention span. <laughs> icon. Side or the west side. Hey, man. What's up, man? Good oh, morning. Oh, man. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm just sitting here, man, and you know, I'm enjoying this Sunday morning. Yeah, but, yeah. You know, man. I'm glad to be here. Before it gets too hot, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Be before exactly. we get to our, our guests, man, I just want to, you know, uh, talk about, you know, a couple of people. A couple of people that, uh, some big time people have passed away, you know, in the last couple of days. Um, you know, Muhammad Ali, of course. Hey, the greatest. You know, um, I mean, that was devastating. I mean, he's been sick for a while, but he still, you know, was out there doing his appearances and, uh, and doing his thing for mankind. People feel good. Yeah. yeah. You know, and uh, still doing it. And, um, you know, he had a lot of you know, impact on this, you know, this world, you know, with his, uh, his um, you know, his uh, regular life, you know, not just away, away from boxing. You know. Well, that's what mm -hmm. made him so... Yeah, you know, uh, iconic to, to everybody. Yeah. yeah, you know, he was beyond just his sport. Yeah, you know? yeah. You know, ever since, and then you know, the, the heavyweight division hasn't been anything for years. You know, I think you know, probably like, since Mike Tyson. Yeah, him, you know, yeah. that's that's been about it. Huh? You know, yeah. and Muhammad Ali influenced those guys. You know, the last people that was it was mm -hmm. really a, a heavyweight division. Yeah. Because like Klitschko has been a champion for what ten years until this and nobody guy. even knows. Yeah, you know? yeah. So, so his brother, yeah. Oh yeah, him and his brother. Yeah, yeah. they are good fighters. Though. They're good fighters. They, they can get down, but, but like nobody they just don't have the same appeal <laughs> yeah. as uh, Ali or Tyson. Yeah. They're not from the states, so you know the people over here aren't gonna gravitate. Yeah, towards it's kind of hard. Yeah, and then also a, a tragic loss we had yesterday is uh, one of the local high school coach, um, Guru Pomele. Um, I mean, he, uh, yeah, Ocean he died. Side. Yeah, mm -hmm. coach wow. the Oceanside and El Camino and. Uh, he played at University of Arizona. Mm -hmm. He's been, um, played about four or five teams in the, yeah, in the league. Yeah, Browns. I think maybe the Chargers and Browns. And, mm -hmm. You know, played in the NFL. Great man. You know, that, that culture, the Polynesian culture, you know, it's all love, you know. So he was well loved and um, made an impact on a lot of kids. You know, um, just suddenly, you know, died. It was after a basketball game. He, he, yeah, I think he was playing a pickup game with some friends. And, yeah. Uh, was he 50? He was no, young. He's, he's young, like, man. He's born in 72. Yeah, probably so 43, 44. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah, great, great man. There's a whole lot of light left. Yeah. yeah. Life left after. Great, great man. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I want to give my well, condolences to the, his family and friends. And um, I guess he was also related to Junior Seau. And so I know that, yeah. that community up there is in, in mourning right now. Yeah. So, you know, bless oh, them. Yeah. Um, well, moving on, we got a, a great guest today, a uh, local star in high school out here. Then he went on to play, he played at Morris High School. He was a player of the year in 1977 for Morris Tigers. I know you're happy. <laughs> you see that? I'm Tom, you got a Morris guy in here. Year to year, bro. <laughs> then he uh, went on to play at, uh, for University of Colorado, the Buffaloes out there. And then um, San Diego Chargers for a, a moment. And then... Uh, Right now, he has a track club called uh, Mercury San Diego. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Eddie Ford. Yeah. <laughs> Eddie, what's up, man? Yeah. Good, good. Eddie, man, so Morris High School, back in the day, where uh, you probably didn't even see Wheeler because he didn't go to class or anything. <laughs> 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 no. You ever see Wheeler around in the lunch corner? <laughs> I wasn't even. He, oh, I was like right. gone. Oh, man. he was gone. So right. yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He didn't he, see it. He, he's been car. waiting all day. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's only ten o'clock. You know I jab back. Oh, all the time, time, all the time. Right. Right. Uh, so, um, did you guys want to say if he was the player of the year, Neil? Or no, no, no. We came close a couple of times. We played. I'll never forget the time when we played El Camino. It was a 6 6 tie. We went into overtime. Lost by a field goal. Oh. And that still bothers me. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. Well, well, was, was that Tucson Tyler's team? Tucson Tyler and uh, Pow Pow. Big old Pow Pow. Oh, Pow Pow, yeah. yeah. Well, well how'd they stop you? What was their game plan? Just to. Three people on you, everywhere you go, <laughs> everybody in the box. <laughs> everybody in the box. 
<laughs> he was all carrying cinder blocks with him. He <laughs> <laughs> managed to get a few yards, but you know, it, it went down to the wire. Yeah. Had that field goal been made, he was playing Kearney in the uh, uh, CIF. You don't see the field goal kicker around town anymore, do you? <laughs> you know, I haven't seen Larry in years. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> put his name. <laughs> Not the last night. No, Larry's a good guy. <laughs> so, um, in the in the, the four years or high school years, um, any championships or when you play for Shaq or mine? Or right. Okay. Well, we won a couple of Eastern League championships. Okay. Which yeah. top league? Yeah, it was a tough league back then. They, they watered down. So yeah. Now, but, <laughs> yeah. It's, 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 we had a few championships, and I uh, look back on those days, wish we had went a little further other, other yeah. places, but I'm happy. So yeah. I'm able to get somebody else ready for it. Right, right. Well, you know, he was he was a star before, you know, Reggie Bush, Terrell Davis, oh, yeah. you know, Rashad oh, Salam, yeah. I mean, Ricky Williams, all them cats. It was, it was yeah. Every, everybody uh, in San Diego knew, yeah. knew him either personally or up. Right. You know, that's just what it was. Yeah. You know? yeah. But I thought, wasn't there another playoff game where you guys only lost by a, a touchdown or some controversy or something? The Vista? Uh, that might have been my sophomore. Oh, okay. Yeah, it might have been my sophomore. But um, I know my junior year, we played a team that we were supposed to beat, and that was um, Grand Hills. Mm. Played him at Southwestern. Never forget that game. All the plays called back. Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh no. A little yeah. suspect referee yeah. in there. Yeah. Yeah. As always. I want to talk about him. He might be listening. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so um, uh, that was a, what year was that? Your sophomore or junior year? That was my junior year. Okay, junior year. Did it, there, <laughs> that my junior year. We had a loaded backfield with okay. Barnett, Charles Cruz. Charles yeah. Cruz, did you play for San Diego State? Or? Yeah. Okay. Very Alexander, so we were loaded. Whoa. Back. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, I was going to ask you, like, name some of the guys that you played with in your career Morris that we might know or just, you know. We can't forget the offensive line. Yeah, we, please. We had Daryl Yarbrough, Ooh. Michael Parker, uh, my cousin who played center, some other guys I uh, vaguely remember. Them the guys I hang yeah, yeah. most, but, <laughs> yeah. but we had a we had a pretty good defense. We had, at one point we had number one offense, number one defense going into playoff time. So right, pretty pretty strong team back at that time. So what did you do to get the player of the year that year? Basically, I can't even begin to tell you. I, just, <laughs> I, just, I was mainly concerned with being a team player because. Uh-huh. You know, just played hard, and wherever the chips fall, then they fall. But right. I never looked for it. I was the type of person that, as long as we all get there, I was happy. Right. So I had help along the way with it. It didn't just become, you know, stepping in and did it on my own. I had a good defense at that time. Had a good offense. So we all put it together. That's what helped me get it. Right. And so, the, the neighborhood was full of athletes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you. Yeah. But he must have rushed for over a thousand, a bunch of touchdowns. So, you know, what? what who's the the studs on defense? You guys both go both ways, or oh, Kevin Mitchell? Oh, okay. That's the dude. First not name come out of his mouth. Mean and mean. Andre Yeah, you cannot forget Kevin. Pound for pound, dude, knock you out. <laughs> knock you out, man. Did y'all have some awesome battles in practice? Yeah, we had some pretty good battles in practice. And, you know, we had some – Wayne Wiley was a type of safety that, if you don't watch out, you know, he can knock his socks off too. He, <laughs> he's a he, – he, if you don't watch out, your ankles will get knocked off. You know? <laughs> but he was a – you know, we had some pretty good hitters on the team too at the time. We were known for hitting back then, mm-hmm. hitting hard. Um, the kind you can hear down the street. Right. <laughs> Can't do that anymore, you know that. Nah. It's illegal. <laughs> no, there's ways that you still get that hit and yeah. it can be legal. And, and both of you get up and walk away and go to the huddle. There you go. Yeah. Probably the same huddle. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's hurt. So, um, what was the Eastern League back then? I think it was you guys, Patrick Henry, Crawford, oh, Madison, Madison, uh, Hoover, 
Okay. Uh, Lincoln. Okay. So, right. At one point, they call it the Super League. Right. But now it's different. <laughs> I, can't, I can't begin to tell you. How many yeah. times did you beat Lincoln? Uh, we beat him three years of my, all three years when I was there at Morris. Mm-hmm. Um, before I know they struggled with him a little bit, but they also had some awesome games at the beginning and along my time period. So it wasn't no easy game. Even they, Lincoln can be a team that can be 0 and 10 and still be tough against you at that right. time. Right. So, right. It was pretty tough. You played against Marcus? I caught Marcus my senior year. Marcus was junior. You notice I didn't even say his last name. <laughs> yeah, everybody automatically yeah. you knows yeah. Marcus, Marcus Jones. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Marcus is a tough guy. You know, you know. Marcus Fillmore. <laughs> Marcus, Marcus job. We played Lincoln in the at Mesa College in the playoff game. Marcus's job, which I was told by one of the coaches later on, that wherever I went was for Marcus. Oh. 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 Wherever I went, it was Marcus. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, they were loaded too. Yeah, oh, yeah. They were loaded at that time. We well, how did y'all beat them the year the year they went to CIL? Did you, did you guys beat them? No, because well, well, actually, we beat them. That might have been a year after, but after we we had we had beat them, but it was a tight tight game. At that's when we went on the playoff. You know, it was a tight game with Lincoln at Mesa College. Then we got out of there. It was like sixteen, thirteen. So Marcus was a junior. Yeah, Marcus oh, Jr. Mm-hmm. But he was a starting then. I mean, he was a quarterback then, wasn't he? Yeah. Yeah, yeah Marcus was everything. Yeah. Oh, I know he was on defense. He was assigned to me. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus Jones was no joke. No. <laughs> Marcus Jones was good, boy. Yeah. Wow. Ass. Oh, yeah. I think we got some on the board. <laughs> Big <laughs> all aboard. <laughs> See, when you start talking about Lincoln, and he just goes yeah. into a zone. Yeah. 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 Perk up. <laughs> Think about those swim meets he was in. Yeah. 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 I'm thinking about them tight shorts he was wearing. <laughs> oh, no way, man. I don't be going there. <laughs> don't get to his Chip and Deal career, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Chip and Deal. Yeah. 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 He's got that ride. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. All right. So, um, I mean, so um, we were talking about the uh, that league. And so, you took the whole league both times, you know, all three years you were there, right? I did one last You took league, Morris? Yeah. The Eastern League? Yeah. That, that was a job to do right there, man. Those, all those squads there in Madison, they had guys. We forgot Kern. Kern was in there, too. Yeah, that's right. Oh, and that's when Kearney was nobody's Kearney. joke. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And they had athletes as well. Yeah. Because they had a lot of military kind of yeah. look up. Navy base there. right there. Yeah, a lot of guys would be coming from Florida, Texas, yeah. and all that. Yeah. We had one guy grew with name, buddy. Can't forget him. He he's a hitter too. <laughs> on your deep, on Marshall's defense? Uh, no, on Kearney defense. On Kearney, buddy. He, he was assigned to me too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so 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 you were pretty popular, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, pretty popular. And, uh, San Diego High. San Diego High. I forget San Diego High. Ah, yeah. Oh, Ballesteros was assigned to me. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Yeah. So uh, Percy Gilbert and them. Yeah, they were there or. Percy might have been gone when we played them that time. We, that was our first game of the season. Uh, my junior, we had Charles Clemens. We had we still had the backfield. We, we ended up beating him, but it was pretty rough. Well, let's get. Uh, we'll come back and we'll have a little break right now on the Coach Rose Show. We'll be back with Eddie Ford on KBLKRadio.com. Hey, so we're back on the Coach Rose Show. My man Iggy, got yes, the icon sir. here, Daryl Wheeler. What to do? Our guest from Morris High School back in the day, Colorado Buffaloes, Eddie Ford. Yes. Right back. What's up, Eddie? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> we were talking about the playoffs uh, during the break, you know, and um, back then it was only like 2A and 3A, or it was only two divisions, or just one? Just one. Just one, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah. One just one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't all these five, you know, four or five divisions. And, Eight man and all that. Yeah. So you were saying about the um, the playoffs. They they went. You guys went up head up with Lincoln like right away, right? Right. Right. We went head up with Lincoln. And I, I've always thought that uh, maybe we should have been in different brackets. Mm-hmm. Give us opportunity to meet in a 
stadium. Right. I thought that would be a big gathering of everybody in San Diego. Yeah. Right? But it didn't happen that way. We ended up, uh, it was a pretty tight game, but we ended up um, winning the game. But to this day, I feel that at the time, we should have been in different brackets. Yeah. And more exciting, more people. You know, I mean, I mean, everybody's going to go to the high school championship game, but, you know, the dynamic of you guys living in the same neighborhood. Right. You know, <laughs> Morris and Lincoln. Guys, yeah. You know, you're down the street and this guy's going to Lincoln, you're going to Morris. You know, it's a yeah. natural we rivalry. each other from Pop Warner. Yeah. 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 More of a rivalry, you know, instead of playing somebody from the North County. But, I mean, uh, it was still a great game and everything, but I, I see what you're talking about, you know. Right. It could have been the finals. Yeah, it could have yeah. been the finals. Yeah. Yeah, right could you imagine the party in the stands? Ooh. <laughs> no. No. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So, um, give me a, a day in the life of a Morris Tiger during that 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 season and uh, playing for uh, Coach Shacklett. I mean, how was practice? I mean, it was intense or practice is always intense. Mm -hmm. um, we prepared well for for teams and especially conditions. Mm -hmm. Every Monday was like about, who ran about 20 hundreds. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Can't do that now. <laughs> no. No, there's, there's other ways of getting into condition. But, uh, you know, we were intense. We were intense in the locker room. We we had to be down there dressed, ready to go. Not just putting on your gear as you come down. Right. Uh, everything was pretty much intense and film session was intense, so it prepared us it, it prepared us well for, for, for our visiting team. Forgot about Point Loma too. Oh man. Point Loma oh. was in the mix also. <laughs> yeah. That is man. It's Some getting tough every time you say so. Yeah. <laughs> and those were really like neighborhoods versus neighborhoods. Yeah. Back mm -hmm. then. Yeah. Nobody's you know. getting bust out? No, no. man. That bust stuff had started after mm -hmm. that, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So um the the game preparing for the game. I mean, you guys must have got like fired up like crazy. You know? I started getting fired up on Monday. Each week we took it. Oh yeah, took the took the game at a time. Mm -hmm. Getting prepped. When Thursday get there, we knew it was like practice, so it's time to play. Right. Um, but you know, and the prep rally for for, for pretty good. Yeah. Pretty I mean, there was there was pride of wearing that Morris Tiger jersey. Oh, yeah. You know. Did you want to go to Morris growing up, or that's where you had to go? Growing up, me and Daryl Yarbrough, um, when we you know we played together at Skyline, we were thinking about doing Sweetwater at that time, but our parents said no. You guys are just right down the street, so we ended up mm -hmm. going down the street to Morris. I never did want to go nowhere else but Morris because uh, I always wanted to be a Tiger because. My house, I could see the field from my house. Oh, wow. Uh, and, uh, I remember one time they were playing Saints. I seen it from my house. I said, man, I want to go. <laughs> <laughs> play at night. So, oh, yeah. man, it's like in the field. Yeah. yeah. So how do you feel about the Morris and Lincoln thing where they don't play no more? I mean, we're going to play this year. Oh, okay. We're, okay. we're, 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 we're going to play this year. We have uh, we're scheduled to play Lincoln. Uh, that'll be second to last game, I think. Um, okay. So it's back online again. I always wanted to. I yeah. wanted to get get that back going again. Yeah. So 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 like, um, all these years that they haven't played. What, I mean, do you think they should have been playing? I think they should have been playing. Mm -hmm. Um, that, that's a good crosstown rivalry. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can't you can't sweep it under the rug. Right. They've always had good games. Right. No matter what condition or not, <laughs> it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah. They can have. They, they can have, we can have a, a bad team, they can have a bad team. That game's going to always be something. Right. They're going to battle to the end. Might need a bigger stadium to play in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The whole For the yeah. yeah. Oh, man. I think it's going to be good. So who are the toughest team that you guys play, or toughest game that you had that they, they you know, they're, they're going to, they were going to stop Eddie Ford. Did anybody ever stop Eddie Ford? Or? <laughs> Believe it or not. Hold on to your seat. <laughs> uh -oh. Crawford. 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 Hey, oh, 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 Crawford. Oh, okay, the coach. Oh, Crawford. Crawford. Oh, yeah. I thought we, we went in there thinking that we can move, we can walk on water. Uh -huh. 
And uh, we had a bad game that day against Crawford. Everybody, defense, offense, we, oh, we just stuck up the place. We ended up losing to them in 1915. Ooh. Who was that guy? Even Do you remember? Their... They had a running back, uh, Mark. Oh, Mark. Mark. Mark Wright? Was yeah, <laughs> Mark was <laughs> Was good too. <laughs> yeah, I, last night I was reading the CIF record book looking for his yeah. record. <laughs> I was like, oh, I see all, all kind of exciting stuff in there. Yeah, Mark was something else. He's a, he's a big running back too. Mm-hmm. Mark got 200 yards against us. Oh! Our, our defense was pretty upset. <laughs> so who'd you play next, the next week? Yeah, <laughs> they, they were in trouble. Uh, yeah, no, yeah, uh, next, the next week's team had, you know, Stand a chance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Being on Coach Shackle's team, you're not going yeah. you're not gonna, you're you're not gonna losing back to that game. Yeah. <laughs> not going to let you off the hook on that one. Yeah. So then the, the, the colleges started coming. I mean, what, what were your choices? By that time, um, USC was there for a minute, but they dropped out. Mm-hmm. Uh, so it was Colorado over Arizona. Okay. Uh, SMU. Those were the main ones. There was a lot of other ones, but those were the ones I was concentrating on the most. Right. Um, and Colorado, San Diego State was in there pretty strong. Mm-hmm. San Diego State at that time really didn't show the, the type of interest I was looking for. I'm mm-hmm. saying the right things I was looking for. Mm-hmm. But Colorado came in. Somebody bring the head coach to your house. Yeah. Team, you know, they're serious. Yeah. Yeah. But what actually, was that like? That experience. That was a big experience. We were entertaining every day. Um, they were coming in. Colorado was coming in every other day. Um, Tango State came in one time after we had a big uh, track meet. So we were sitting there talking. Clyde Gilbert was there. The running back coach was there. Hammersmith. Um, so they were talking to me. And I kept dozing off. Oh, <laughs> what? But I had to, I had to tell them, I had to tell them though, uh, you know, to excuse me, I had a rough track meet. Uh, I was running pretty hard that day. If you guys can excuse me, I'm not trying to be rude or anything. Yeah. But I want, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm interested in your school, but they still didn't. They they weren't saying the right thing uh-huh. for some reason. Did you they, want them to, you know, be I want them to say that I was going to be that guy. I would have yeah. went right there to that school, but right. they weren't. They weren't really. They they would talk that language to my dad, but yeah. I wasn't hearing. It. Yeah. You know, so who was the head coach of Colorado? Bill Mallory. Bill Mallory. Okay. Yeah, when I <clears throat> when I signed, still delivered, I was there. Everybody kept talking about Wild Bill. I said, Why they keep talking about Wild Bill? <laughs> Why they keep talking about Wild Bill? <laughs> Friday nights we had movies. Okay. And that shows movies like Bruce Lee, all those rough type of movies. <laughs> get us ready for the next day. So then he would come up, turn the projector off in the middle of the movie and start foaming at the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's I'm wild. Sitting, so I was sitting holding my seat and said, oh, that's why they call him that. That's why they call him that. <laughs> Spitting all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I said, dang, did I come to the wrong school? <laughs> San Diego State seemed to kind of cool. Yeah, San Diego State seemed pretty cool. <laughs> but, that's wild road. But actually, he's a, he was a very nice man. You know? mm-hmm. He was there for me when my father passed away. So oh, he was man. he was he was a pretty good guy. Mm-hmm. Him and my running back coach, Coach Keith. Keith, mm-hmm. that was his last name. Yeah, yeah, that was his last name. He's uh, I don't know if he still is, but he's I guess he was uh, some type of founder or something over the Black Coaches Union, something like that. Oh, okay, okay. Hey, I just want to ask you, who was the number one nationally ranked running back your year? I think it might have been that guy. His name was Darren. Came out of LA, went to Stanford. Ooh, Darren uh, Norris? No, he's from El Camino. Oh, no, that, no, that, that, this, you this talking, talking about super the, quick. Yeah, the, the yeah. fast little running back. Oh, yeah, Darren yeah. Nelson. Darren there Nelson. You there you go. Mm-hmm. Went to Minnesota Vikings. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Number 20. Yep, there you go. Yeah, yeah. he was, uh, we, we played him. We played him in. That dude was spinning our defensive back around in circles. <laughs> <laughs> it was a freshman that was starting. <laughs> I said, man, I come to another team with defensive backs and 
guys just going to let these running backs. <laughs> but no, he was a good running back. So how was your career at Colorado? You started right away or you redshirted? Or? I didn't start right away. I got a chance to play a little bit. But mm-hmm. as soon as I got going, that's when my father passed. So then I didn't didn't want to be around him no more. Right. And, uh, the coaches were, when I came back, they were calling and asking when they were going to come back. But I came back. And then when they got fired, I said, oh. Oh. So then I just came back to San Diego State, and then Clark Gibbon, those guys, got fired. Oh. <laughs> I said, this, this, this might not be my time to play football anymore. Oh. But, yeah, I was I was having that type of luck, but I was able to bounce back. Mm-hmm. So you ended up at San Diego State? Yeah, I came back to San Diego State. Okay. They were penciling me in to start. So that's good, but I had to sit out a year. Oh, yeah, you had to sit out for transfer. So you were a junior? I was still then, technically, yeah, junior. Did they have the red shirt then? Yeah, red shirt. Yeah. Did. Okay. Yeah, so red shirt. Did, did you red shirt your first year in Colorado? No. Oh, you no, they were playing on playing time. Yeah, yeah, they right. were playing on playing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Who was at San Diego State when you came back? What you said, Kyle Gibbert was gone. No, Kyle Gibbert was there. Oh, okay. But he had got fired before I got an opportunity oh, to play. Oh, I got you. And uh, uh, Coach Scoville came in from. BYU okay. took over the program. Okay. That was another story. So you finished there? It's I finished school. there. Uh, that was funny because when I came in there, I automatically was fifth string, worked my way up to the first string, injured my shoulder before we got a chance to play uh, Colorado, the, not Colorado, it's Buffalo. But the State, other, State, yeah, State, Colorado State. State. Rams. Um, Rams. Then he put me back down depth chart on fifth. Um, oh. And then I used to go in his office, talk to him, and say, hey, what's going on? I said, uh, technically, none of your guys beat me out. So I can't lose my position to a, to an injury. And he was saying that, no, well, it's not fair to put you back uh, where you started because those other guys would be griping and complaining. I said, <laughs> I said coach, they didn't beat me out. <laughs> 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 they didn't beat me out. So I got injured. It, it didn't end too well, but I ended up getting shot anyway. Yeah, because I remember seeing him at a Charger camp one time. He yeah. was actually trying out for the Chargers. Right. Because we used to go up there and, you know, kick mm-hmm. it and stuff. And I was seeing him out there doing his thing. Yeah. yeah. How'd that go, that, that training camp? A lot of meetings. <laughs> 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 I was used to. Sound like DeMero. <laughs> <laughs> The running part was, we didn't run sprints or nothing. Yeah. But they wear you out for meetings. Uh-huh. You meet in the morning before you go. You meet afterwards. You meet in between. You meet after that. And yeah. So Especially as they're doing that, they're putting in plays. Uh-huh. But I went to, I got an opportunity to, before they had the summer camp, I had an opportunity to go to mini camp. Mm-hmm. And they're putting in 20 plays a day then. <laughs> <laughs> but the, the thing that saved me was the fact that all the different offices I've been in because the two gentlemen that were there when the running back coach was going over the stuff and he was going over defenses and then he asked me a question. I said, oh, yeah. I was to give him the blocking scheme and then I was telling him where I would end up at and then he would look at the other guys and said, well, why do you think he knows what's going on? And I forgot the guy at the time, but he said, because you gave him the plays. <laughs> He said, no, he's been in different types of schemes that's, oh. you know, that allowed him to be able to, allow me to be able to answer these types of questions. Right. Because right. those guys were acting, they, they weren't, they they weren't, they weren't caught up, they weren't caught up to the, they were, they, they came out of different offenses right. where they didn't have the opportunity to be able to do the things I did. Right. But that's what helped me out. So at, your office is at Colorado and San Diego State. Right. Wow. It's more of a pro setting. More yeah. Pro ready type stuff. To allow you to be able to think on your feet, right? And those guys were they having a hard time. Yeah, they were having a hard time in practice. So, who was the head coach of San Diego when you were there? Uh, Clark Gil- No, I mean uh, Don Correa. Don- oh man, Don Correa. Yeah, Don Correa. Wow. And uh, Ernest, I forgot. That's the running back coach. Mm-hmm. But that's him. Peasy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Said Peasy. But see, you know what? What was happening at that time? They was hoping that the that the 
roster would move to 47. Right. And allow me an opportunity to be on there, but it stayed at 43. Oh, wow. You just missed it. Yeah, you yeah, just yeah. missed it. That's, that's starting to be a pattern with your kind of look. Huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, I, you know, I think after all that, it was meant for me to go that route because yeah. I have to be able to teach somebody else something. Allow yeah. me to do that. Allow me to spend time with my nephew, you know, all that stuff. You know? Do you know his nephew is, right? Uh, I think I do. Oh, okay. uh, who is it? A guy named Dwayne Wright. Oh, uh, Dwayne Wright. Dwayne Wright? Dwayne Wright left? Dwayne Wright. <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Marcus's brother. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Dwayne Wright has a great career. Great career. He, he has a man in the as well. So, but that leads you to what you're doing now. So, yeah, what you're doing now, you coaching football, mm -hmm. and then you're, you have your own track club. Right. It's Mercury San Diego. How long have you had uh, Mercury San Diego? 15 years. 15 years. What made you do that? Well, we were with a track club before, and that particular track club that we were with, I didn't, I didn't feel that they were really dedicating themselves to kids so I wanted to be able to actually really get something back and actually really teach somebody something so I formed my own club and never looked back ever since man that is awesome so uh, every weekend you guys have meets and mm -hmm. how about you, how many kids do you have on your team well this year we have close to 90 something <sighs> normally we <laughs> it's like 120 or more but you know it, it's it's when somebody comes to your doorstep and say, um, I have uh, a kid that I want to sign up, but he has a brother and sister. Can they sign up? <laughs> you can't say no. Right, right. You know, so exactly. That's how it ends up sometimes. That's how you end up signing their sister, their cousin. You know, right. But how, do, how do you watch 90 kids that attract me? <laughs> It, it, well, there are different coaches. heats. <laughs> there are different heats. It, it helps when you have eight coaches because mm -hmm. you know, all those eyes are, that that that's helping you out. We have excellent coaches. Mm -hmm. Name a couple. We have a uh, we have a uh, coach Barry. We have Michelle Spros. She's with the girls. Uh, my sister Jonae. My daughter also okay. coaches now. Oh, nice. And Maya. Nice. Um, she ran track in, 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 in Lincoln or more? She ran yeah. track at, at Lincoln. Okay. Yeah. She, she, she was, yeah, she was turned yeah. on by Lincoln yeah. because my, I had <laughs> other siblings that went there. Mm -hmm. So she wanted to be part of it. Okay. Yeah. Now, the Spro's people that you mentioned, mm -hmm. they're kin to Darren Spro's, right? Right. So, um, what are the different, like, are they the same events as high school, or there's different events? They're a little different. Mm -hmm. um, some, a lot of the stuff will gear them towards high school, mm -hmm. but there's some things that we do uh, in championship time that um, they don't do in high school, mm -hmm. like the 400 meter hurdles, okay. and javelin, hammer throw. Right. Those are all done in uh, the, the youth side of it. That I don't see in high school, gotcha. but it it, it kind of geared the youth stuff towards the Olympics type of athletes because we got some of the same rules and regulations. Mm -hmm. USATF. So, and, and then you guys run, you guys travel too, right? You go to right. LA and all that. But the first we went this year was to make it a little. Normally during championship when it's when we're it's all said and done, we've been to Tennessee, we've been to Whoa. Detroit. Chicago, nice. um, Baltimore, and we kind of, what I try to do is prepare them for a big stage so when they get into high school and go yeah. to CIF, it's nothing to them. Right, right. You know, they can deal with the crowd, they can deal with the pressure. Now, over the 15 years, can you name some of the athletes that you coached that, you know, went big time or did accomplish some great things? Um, well, it's still in high school right now. Mm, okay. But we have some... For instance, uh, you guys heard of Frank Bunkum? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. He's the right? yeah, yeah, he used to run for me. Okay. Um, 
he fell. And Rams still came to participate in the state meet. Um, Ellis. Uh, his name getting away from me. Okay. I'm telling you big time out there, but. Yeah. Um, Watch tomorrow. He gonna think all kinds of things. Yeah, yeah. 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 Call yeah. big out. Yeah. 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 Quite a few kids that were able to participate in the CIF and mm-hmm. contribute to a lot of the high schools. Uh, there's a lot of, and I know I, I have a list of, <laughs> but you know, just to name a few. Uh, yeah, because I know a basketball coach, a youth basketball coach. He can just reel off all kind of names just yeah. like that, just fast. You know? Man, I guess he keeps a list or something. Yeah, but over 15 so years. Many, you know, yeah. 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 Just, up, and I don't keep a list. I always hear about it anyway. Yeah. But I don't, I don't, I don't ever keep a list. I, I Once they're out of the nest, I keep up with them. Yeah. But sometimes it's, it's hard to keep up with all of them, so many of them. So that's why doing our season, can't wait to see IF, because then I get that break over the weekend where I can go see him perform. Right. And see, a lot of your the guys that run, they end up playing football. Yeah. Because that's a lot of them's purpose for even participating in you. Right, track, right. Is to enhance their football speed, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And you got uh, Tyreek Thompson, who played mm-hmm. the same. Mm-hmm. Uh, awesome athlete. Francois played, I mean, he ran for us for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, and you got Jalen White. Mm. Uh, he he had an offer from the Wolfpack along with Dakaray. Dakaray ran for me also. Mm-hmm. And you got some other other guys out there that are playing football and pretty good football players too. So when you get a kid comes in and he's you know eight years old, nine years old, like how do you know what event to put him in? I mean, how do you? What you do is. During practice, you have certain types of workouts, so mm-hmm. then you kind of see where they kind of fit. Mm-hmm. Then you then you just sign them up for different things and, and kind of work them into a uh, we kind of work them. And then each meet, we keep up with them to see how they progress, and, mm-hmm. and then we say, "Well, man, this is more like four hundred guys. Mm-hmm. So we put him over here, try to let him run four hundred, or we put him in an eight, fifteen, uh, two hundred. Different things like that. We we, we monitor them closely. Mm-hmm. Some of the parents, you know how it is. Most parents think all their kids are sprinters. Mm-hmm. But every time we have our meetings, I, I kind of let them know. Let, <laughs> let, let us do this. So we let us, we've been doing this for a while. So let us figure out where they're going to be at. Because they may want them to be sprinters, but they may be an 800 person. Mm-hmm. Or a 200 person or a 800, 400 person. So it's kind of like football. Everybody wants to be the running back, right? So you, go, you know, all the running backs over here, and there's forty guys come up with it. Yeah, one <laughs> lineman, <laughs> yeah, one lineman, <laughs> oh. three hundred pound running back. Yeah. <laughs> so all the sprinters run over to the one hundred. You go, oh, wait a minute. But we, when we, you know, last few years when I was at Morris, when we, when we were up, most of the linemen, I promised, I said, okay, I let you carry the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Did you live up to that promise? Yeah. We had one. We had one lineman there when I was coaching freshman up in Morris. Ran a kickoff, eighty-five yard oh, kickoff. Oh, 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 oh. He was putting moves. I said, "Man, maybe I made a mistake." <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I bet you that was the about. happiest day of his life, <laughs> or and the worst day, and, 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 and the parents. Yeah, and he hey, shook the whole what do you team. Want to eat? <laughs> you know, but probably the worst day because now you got all the linemen coming out. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, every year, <laughs> coach, coach, we get up. Can I? Can I? Can I get the ball? Yeah. We'll see. We'll see. So in your track club, so um, you have meets every every weekend. Yeah, and then there's a championship, or there's a there's what we call association championships. Mm-hmm. That the top eight from each division moves on to the regional. Top five from the regional moves goes to JO to Junior Olympics. Oh, okay. So we should have we should have a few that are, that's going to participate <clears throat> that will be able to make it all the way to the. One was my niece. She runs oh. the fifteen, the four hundred, the eight. Oh, man. She's uh, she she's my like energy. <laughs> yeah, she went to the Jets meet last weekend. What's her name? Uh, her name is Ariane Livingston. Okay. okay. Yeah, she uh, she pretty much was the top person in eight in the fifteen, and number two in the four hundred. Wow. Yeah. You know the the Jets meet. They they hold those big meets up there on Memorial Day weekend. Mm-hmm. And everybody. 
who's the star on your team right now? Mercury San Diego. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I, well, Ariana, I just mentioned her. She's one of them. Uh, we got Keontae Springs, excellent sprinter. Um, we have a uh, young lady by the name of Jasmine. She's a newcomer. She's doing real well. Okay. She's a fighter. Um, are you going to make me go through this? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> hey, 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 go and then people are going to be mad. Man. Just, just do it. Man. Man. He he got so I, I, gave, I, 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 I gave him a list of stuff one time. <laughs> Everybody who I can think of right off the back because we had so many. Yeah. There were so many. Oh, that's good. So we, got some youngsters. we got some youngsters that's pretty good. Yeah. And we got some younger ones. They got a Coons out there. Yeah. Just uh, get down. Yeah, yeah. You, you got uh, cool. Will Scott. Son is out there. He's on. Um, oh, and Flojo. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. okay. Hey. Well, me and Ro never went to a, the Jets meet, but we went to the Jets concert. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Same thing, right? Yeah. Well, that was close. That was close. <laughs> we, had, we, had quite a few. we had, uh, we had, like, last weekend, we split some of our team. We had, like, uh, 20 of our top people go up to the Jets meet and see where they fare at. And then we have uh, the rest of the team stay down. But you know, the rest of the team stayed down. We still did pretty good mm-hmm. at the meet that was here. So, and a lot of them were a lot of first team, a lot of first timers. So mm-hmm. we've been doing, they've been doing pretty good. Um, they've been sh- uh, holding their own. So we don't, I don't want to seem like we split the team, but sometimes you want to see what your best kids can do. Right, right. And, uh, so that's what we do every year. What did you run in track? When you- I ran the 100 to 2, uh, ran relay. Ran four or four sometimes. Uh, shot put. What? <laughs> How much did you weigh in high school as a senior? As a senior, it was 200 pounds easy. Whoa. Who was your fastest uh, 100? My fastest 100 was when I came in with Michael. Remember Michael Patrick? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We ran a, we ran at Picasso Poor Park. Mike. Michael, Michael hit. This is a 100-yard dash, mm-hmm. different from the 100 meters, but. Michael Patrick ran a 9.5. I came in a 9.7. Hey, okay, on dirt. On oh, dirt. Oh, that was blazing. <laughs> Rocks and glass, too. Man, a 9.7. Nice <clears throat> Castle Park. And it was the guy that was at Castle Park that played running back for uh, Castle Park, his name was Curdy. That's the guy I remember running all over us <laughs> when I was a sophomore. So I said, man, this dude walked up. Dude run track too, man. <laughs> but then he was a, he came in third place. It was it was Michael, it was me, and then he came in third place. That dude ain't nothing. <laughs> <laughs> did, did you ever have to run against Elijah Jefferson? Oh, let me tell you a story about that. <laughs> we were we were I was we were uh, okay. We had I think Jimmy Hooker was on the team, me, Boris, and Mike. Boris McDaniel. Yeah, yeah. Boris McDaniel. Then uh, R.I.P. Yeah, and then uh, so we were up at Crawford. We were ahead. We were ahead in the relay. We were blazing. <laughs> and here come Elijah. Oh, <laughs> on that anchor. <laughs> come the anchor. We went from first to second. Oh, <laughs> real quick, real quick. <laughs> said, it can't nobody run that fast in the dirt. <laughs> That's impossible. <laughs> that cat ran down our four blade like it wasn't nothing. So. Hey, he won state two years in a row. He won it as a sophomore and a junior. And then when they were came down here to run at Balboa Stadium, mm-hmm. he was the favorite. But somebody kind of, a uh, dude named Kevin Williams, he said, kind of, you know, flinched at the, in the blocks. Mm. Oh. So he froze. Oh. And he thought they were going to hit the gun again. Wow. And so then he realized, ain't no more shots being fired. He had to take off. Oh. He said, man, and he was getting, because I was at the meet. He was pulling, right? But at the end, uh, Kevin got him. Mm-hmm. And he lost, you know, because of that. Yeah, yeah. Good I got, got to get him here one day. He might have been set up, man. Set up. They got time him with him. That little L.A. thing. Uh, yeah, that Kevin cool. Williams from uh, San Fernando Valley. Play wide receiver for USC, Ooh. and then he he, he died uh, died on a uh, he worked for the train station, 
and uh, somehow fell off or something or whatever. Oh, and damn, he, lost wow. him. he played in the USFL also. Mm. Yeah. Wheels. Was he there when Noah was picking the animals to go to the no, park? I, 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 was there, I was there. I was there with Abraham Lincoln. Oh. <laughs> I, I was the one who influenced him. <laughs> And let my people go. <laughs> Get your new hat. <laughs> so nine seven, man, that is blazing, bro. I mean, I, I ain't never done anything nine seven except for maybe eat a pie or a hot dog. <laughs> but Elijah was in them nine fours. And yeah, nine yeah. four. Yeah, man. Yeah, he, he wasn't a joke. Bro. Well, how far farther? How much farther is it, um, the one hundred meters? Is it it's like meters? ten? Is it ten? Ten more yards? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, it's crazy. Okay, now you know he's going to be the head coach for Morse Track now. No, but his uh, <laughs> uh, Mercury success. Yes, he's just been appointed uh, head man in charge of uh, the uh, Tiger Track yeah, program. Yeah, he'll yeah. still be able to do the the to be in charge of the Mercury Track Club also, or you have someone take over that. I can still be in charge of somebody because Tracy Tracy Thompson is mm. my he's my assistant head coach, so he does a real good job. Yeah, you know Tracy. Tracy. Oh, he's a stud. So then just during track season for Morris, you won't, you probably won't have much to do with, with Mercury. Until, by a little bit. Yeah. Just a little bit, but, you know. Um, so you're leaving it in good hands. So. Leaving it <clears> in good hands. <throat> leaving it in good hands. And uh, you know he's the um, head football coach, JB? Mm. At Lincoln. Morris. Oh, Morris. Yeah. Busy man, yeah. busy man. <laughs> so, so what do you what do you guys got to do, man, to keep the athletes from the Skyline program, the Mercury programs, MLK, and to come on over and uh, and represent uh, Morris? It's, it's it's hard, but you got to kind of build a relationship with the kids and their parents and their parents, yeah, and get them to feel that have them feel that. This is going to be something that's going to benefit their kid. Mm -hmm. um, and sometimes it's hard to do because you got a lot of people that are private that comes into your area. Mm -hmm. and, and you got to fight with them. But it's getting better, though. We're starting to get a lot of them back. Keeping them home. Yeah. And then some go to other places and yeah. they realize, hey, man, I just might as well go back home. Yeah. We're, we're hoping that happens, too. Because, uh, as everybody knows, uh, Keontae, I won't say that, but it, <laughs> he's going over to Madison, but uh, see, it, it, I still, he's on my track team. I but, had on him. He's a skyline legend. On yeah. The football. And, and, I, and I still, no I, I still treat him the same way. Mm -hmm. I, I don't, I don't diss him because he's going somewhere else. I mean, it is what it is because he's somebody who, he's still part of Mercury that I have to take care of. Right. He's at Mercury. And even if I see him on the street, I still treat him the same way. I don't, I don't treat any of these guys as their decision, but a lot of them do come back. Mm -hmm. A lot of them do come back. Yeah. It sounds like hope he come back. Yeah, yeah. leave it, leave it open. I mean, if they want to yeah. come back and come back, uh, still gonna welcome open arms. I'm still gonna congratulate when they do good, even if they were with somebody else. So he's heading to high school. Mm -hmm. This he's going into the eighth grade. My dude's a stud. I mean, he's going into <laughs> the ninth grade. He's going to ninth grade. Oh. As a man, wow! wow. <laughs> what he run? He nice with him. Yeah, he runs a hundred. He ran a fifty when he was up at when he was up in L.A. at the Jets. I mean, he ran a he ran twenty three two hundred. Mm -hmm. Ran a fifty three four hundred. Twenty three as an eighth grader. Mm -hmm. Wow! Yeah, he did real well. Did real well. They get his hundred time, but the guy's a stud, man. Wow. Now, with it being an Olympic season, do you anticipate getting more uh, kids coming out for, for track this year? After all the hype and everything of, of track and field and the Olympics? And... Well, actually, it's kind of hard because we're battling with soccer. We're battling with soccer. So, not that soccer is taking our kids, but mm -hmm. it's, it's hard to get the field. You, you, you know, oh, okay. It's hard to get the field. Yeah. And, and, uh, yeah. I'm lucky to be at Moore's and had an opportunity to. But do you think one of the reasons they um, anointed you the, you know, the, uh, gave you the track position 
Is it because of your affiliation with uh, Mercury and the community? Well, I think um, part of it has to be, part of it, part of it is that, but then I think the AD, who's the head coach of, of Morris, um, kind of, he's comfortable with the way I do things. Tracy. Yeah. Very comfortable with the way I do things and trust his, tr if Tracy don't trust you, you're not going to be one of the guys. Oh, uh, in, in his, uh, in his circle. He has to trust you. That's a long, that's, a, that's anybody. Right. But once somebody trusts you and feel that you can take over and do things, and it, it makes it a lot easier for them. They don't have to worry about it. You know. Well, Eddie, man, we want to thank you for coming up here. You're a legend in San Diego. Yes. Um, your career in high school and in college, and then now with the, you know, the Morris Tiger head coach and your Mercury of San Diego track club. You're, commu you're uh, cont contributing to the community, you know, uh, uh, a lot, a lot of ways. So, a lot of kids you touch, uh, a lot of kids in a positive way. So, I want to thank you for coming out, man. Well, I appreciate it. Uh, appreciate you coming out, and thank you for being an important part of yeah. uh, our community. Exactly, yeah. man. <laughs> we need it, man. We need it out here. So, uh, we'll be back next week on the Coach Road Show with Iggy and the Icon yes. and Big Island yes. Awards yeah. on KBLKRadio.com. See you next week. Hey, all right, all right. Hey, 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 hey,